Hello guys and welcome to another profile tree video. So in today's video we're going to be taking a look at what exactly Instagram Threads is all about. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so just a quick introduction as to what Instagram Threads is all about. Now, you may have heard of the bigger update that happened on July 5th, 2023, as you can see on screen now. Uh, Instagram actually built this app as a separate app in 2019, and it was available on iOS and Android devices. Now, with the bigger update, what they've done is, as well as the close friends communication that you previously had, so the thread focused on connecting you with your close friends list on Instagram. It allowed you to share photos, videos, messages, and stories that's exclusive with this selected group. And that created more of a private and personal space for communication. So that, that's what Threads was all about previously. However, with the new update that they've done, uh, Threads is now more, more of, well, it is a text-based conversation app, but they've created, created it more so that it's where communities can come together to discuss everything from topics, things that you care about, today and things that will happen tomorrow so what, whatever's trending tomorrow so whatever you're interested in it basically connects you to your favorite content creators if that's not your thing you could do or what you can do is try to build a loyal following of your own to share your ideas opinions and creativity with the world so that's just a quick little introduction on what uh instagram threads is all about we'll, we're, we'll go ahead and take a look at the other features that Instagram Threads has to offer. So if you actually hop onto the creators.instagram.com, they do actually have a blog post on the introduction of Threads. Now, for those who don't know, or for those people that use Twitter, this is more or less what it's all about. So uh, as you can see, Threads is connected to Instagram. You'll be able to find your username and verification badge. Uh, so there is that. And as I said, or stated earlier on in the video, it's more or less a place where you can actually have a debate. You can have a say on your own opinions. Uh, it's just another base or should be competitor for Twitter themselves. So that's what Instagram Threads is all about. Now it gives you an introductory on how it actually works. So you can go ahead and download a QR code here. So if you guys are on the mobile device or on desktop, you can go ahead and get your mobile device and actually uh, bring up this QR code. So it's on screen now. So We'll further look at the actual blog post itself and just take a look further into it. So we can see here that you can go ahead and do a couple of mentions, uh, upload photos as usual. And Instagram threads do claim that it's meant to give you an experience to view new content creators. So pretty much like that. It suggests uh, creators that you should follow. So you can see there, it works almost, as, it works pretty much the same way as Twitter would. So they're saying that they've built threads with tools to enable positive, productive conversations. So you're able to control who you can mention or who you can reply to. Uh, you can add hidden words to prevent replies to your threads that contain specific words. So if, I'm assuming that would be something a little bit more explicit in terms of words. Uh, you're able to do the unfollow block restrict. So the usual stuff that you would be able to do anyway on your Instagram app. So that's just a little showcase as to what it looked like. So they've got a couple of uh, hidden words there, some of the mentions as well. So now that we've taken a look at 
their blog post. I'm going to go ahead and jump into this and actually take a review on what Instagram threads is all about. So as mentioned before, you're able to find the threads and Instagram app on either the iOS or on the Google Play Store. So here we have it on screen now. So we'll go ahead and click into it. Now you can read more into the actual app itself. So here we've got a four out of five rating. So this person's happy enough. So what we can see here is they've said that it's missing hashtags, pin posts, explore and profile customization is limited, no banner or background image. However, it's still a fairly good um, application to use. So that was on Thursday. So that's pretty much that. There's a little bit more information on the bottom here. So we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and get this app now. So I'll go ahead and download this here. So once downloaded, uh, go ahead and open up the threads app. So you can see how close it is to Instagram itself. Go ahead and log in. Uh, we'll go ahead and enter the details here for learning mode. So once you have done that, go ahead and click not now or saved. Uh, we can import things from Instagram if we wanted to as well. Uh, but for now, we'll go ahead and skip that. So that's pretty much just your bio and links and stuff. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and make this a public profile, uh, unless you are a private profile. So next, uh, of course you get, have the option there to follow people. We'll go ahead and click next. And then all we need to do now is join the threads. So you can click, don't allow or allow notifications. It's up to yourselves. So this is pretty much it. So. You can see how close it is to Twitter itself. This is where the Twitter feed would be at, but instead it's called thre threads. So if I search up a, our company here, profile tree, you can tell that we're not on the threads yet, but there are quite a few different accounts that are already on the Instagram threads already. So there's a few of the following, as you can see. So just a little bit more insight on it as well. You can go ahead and add new threads. So uh, I can just say, this is where uh, you can add your threads. So pretty much just post that. You can tag if anyone can reply or not, or you can just leave it with your friends. So depending how you want to do it, uh, you've got your activity feed here. So if I had, added a couple of uh, people, I'll be able to see the activity feed. And this is pretty much where the Instagram account is. So I can add a profile, share a profile, uh, I could ch check the settings. And that is pretty much what the Instagram threads looks like. Now, when you are setting up an Instagram thread, this is one thing that I did forget to mention. You have to have an Instagram account in order to actually have an Instagram thread. So it's simple to do. Go ahead and download the Instagram app itself. Go ahead and create an account with them. And once you're happy enough, then go ahead and download the Threads app. It should automatically link straight away. And yeah, that is pretty much how to grab the Instagram application and use it. So there you guys have it. That is pretty much an insight on what Instagram Threads is all about, how to sign up and how to use it. As I said, it's pretty much in the early stages uh, with the review that we've seen on the actual app store itself as well. And the fact that it was a general big update. Now, keep in mind, this was a 2019 release, but they did do that big update on the 5th of July there. But guys, anyway, uh, if you guys want to check it out, by all means, go ahead and do so. Just remember that you will need to have that Instagram integration. So Threads is tightly integrated with Instagram. It utilizes the existing Instagram account and the connections. So it is easy enough to just switch to that account anyway. But yeah, 
Anyways, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, please do leave a comment in the comment section below. But other than that, I'll see you guys for the next video. Thank you very much for watching.